Corona virus. It is the burning issue of today. It has claimed over 200 lives in China and the numbers infected have touched 10,000 confirmed cases. As the outbreak continues to spread outside the China, the WHO has declared it a public health emergency of international concern, that is, a global emergency. Discussing about some of the important features, it has uh, the peplomas that coronavirus has have spike made of spike protein that is S protein we will discuss later on. The spike forms large protrusions from the virus surface giving coronaviruses the appearance of having crowns hence their name corona in latin meaning crown. Some viruses of veterinary importance are avian infectious bronchitis virus that is AIBV transmissible gastroenteritis virus TGEV and canine coronavirus. So basically coronaviruses affect the respiratory tract and the GIT that is gastrointestinal tract. This is the diagram of coronaviruses, the spike glycoprotein as I already told. So the yellow ones are the spike gly glycoprotein and the smaller bluer ones are heme agglutinin esterase dimer that is HE protein. The middle one is the pink one is the RNA and N protein, the nuclear material, and since it is an enveloped virus, so envelope is present. The basic morphological characters are: it is roughly spherical in shape, it is an enveloped virus, the nuclear material is made up of RNA, it has helical symmetry, replication is by cytoplasm is in the cytoplasm of the host cell and releases by exocytosis. The proteins that are present are mainly of four types. The genome is packed inside a helical capsid formed by the nu nucleocapsid protein N and further surrounded by an envelope. Associated with the viral envelope are at least three structural proteins. Protein M and envelope protein E are involved in virus assembly, whereas the spike protein S mediates virus entry into the host cell. Some coronaviruses also encode an envelope associated heme agglutinin esterase protein HE as we already saw in the diagram. S protein has some important functions attachment with the host cell uh, and second one is it contains hyper variable domains which is responsible for production of virus escape mutants capable of evading the host immune response. So basically uh, this S protein helps in evading the host's immune system such that it can survive and create a more heightened response. The novel coronavirus that is NCOV 2019 that is mainly causing the havoc in the humans, we will discuss some points about it. It is the source of respiratory infections including common cold. It is basically an animal-based coronavirus that has mutated. Manifested symptoms may include fever, cough and shortness of breath. According to WHO, wherever there is close mixing of humans and animals, especially the unregulated handling of blood and other body products, as happens for example in China's animal markets, there are greater chances of transmission of a virus from animals to humans. So first, uh, veterinary importance virus, coronavirus that we are discussing is avian infectious bronchitis virus. The susceptible host is chicken and it is also isolated from pigeons and pheasants. Its transmission is by aerosol and it is recovered from the birds uh, and it is recovered from the birds which may act as carriers up to one month and shed virus in their nasal secretion for up to four weeks and three weeks in feces. CPE is dwarfing and curling of embryos in developing chick embryo. So this is an important point. Uh, this picture depicts uh, the symptoms of uh, the disease. See there are secretions from the nose. Uh, these are some of the symptoms. Pathogenesis, uh, pathogenicity is a highly contagious disease affects respiratory, mainly respiratory, then reproductive and renal system. 
the course of illness is 7 to 21 days but important thing is repair process starts in 6 to 10 days so basically birds return to normal in 14 to 21 days important clinical signs are coughing and rattling since it is a respiratory problem younger chickens may die due to tracheal occlusion by mucus or by kidney failure since renal system is also affected laid eggs are uh, sorry laid eggs may be thin or soft shells and pu- poor albumin on post mortem the things ca- that can be noticed are mild to moderate respiratory tract inflammation tracheal edema trachitis ear sacculitis caesius plugs and bronchi kidney and bronchi may be swollen the pathogenesis that is the process by which the disease progresses so the entry of the disease is by aerosol that is mainly by inhalation then it localizes in the ciliated epithelial cells of respiratory tract and replicate there so primary uh, replication occurs here followed by primary viremia in 1 to 2 days that is in the blood it is found in 1 to 2 days widely distributed throughout the body especially in oviduct kidneys and bursa of febrisius leads to immunosuppression suppression because it is going to bursa of febrisius the second virus that we are going to discuss of veterinary importance is tgev transmissible gastroenteritis virus the susceptible host is swines of all ages young piglet up to 3 weeks of age is most susceptible its transmission is by ingestion of contaminated food and water infected animal shed viruses in feces pathogenicity is tg transmissible gastroenteritis it occurs mainly in young piglets usually 3 weeks of age outbreak occurs usually in mid winter to early spring incubation period is 18 hours to 3 days 18 to 72 hours morbidity and mortality is low in old pigs but in newborn piglets morbidity is 25 to 30 percent and mortality is 100 percent important clinical signs are curds of undigested milk in the feces and diarrhea offensive odor of feces piglet under 10 days of age die in 2 to 7 days of onset of disease so basically this is the diagram showing how tgev works viral infection of villus cells occurs that is the villi occurs Uh, then villus atrophy leads to malabsorptive diarrhea and tissue responds with proliferation of crypt enterocytes and crypt hypoplasia since there is a lesser amount of absorption because of atrophy of the villi so lesser absorption of water so diarrhea is caused so this is how it works pathology is the standard stomach and small intestine contain yellow undigested milk destruction of villi results in thinning of intestinal wall pathogenesis entry is by ingestion of contaminated food and water localizes in villus enterocytes of tips of the villi in small intestine as we saw in the diagram replicate here so primary replication occurs then results in villus atrophy throughout the length of the small intestine shortening and blunting of villi This process severely disrupts the dis- digestion and cellular transport of nutrients and electrolytes. Since the villi has atrophied, so absorption decreases. So uh, this disrupts the digestion as well as cellular transport transport of nutrients and electrolytes, results in accumulation of fluid in the intestinal lumen and diarrhea. Villus enterocytes are the source of lactase and other disaccharides needed for the digestion of milk so digestion is also affected absence of enzyme lactase results in decrease of osmolarity of intestinal content results in transport of water from tissue to the intestinal lumen and results in diarrhea so distended stomach etc occurs last virus of veterinary importance is canine coronavirus it is a severe disease causing diarrhea in young dogs first reported in 1971 the
the important clinical signs are diarrhea, vomition and dehydration. There is marked shortening and fusion of intestinal villi. So these uh, were the important points of canine coronavirus. Thank you. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel The Palidoscope. Thank you.